start showing. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Boost Life 973 and um, we're gonna do another video today on the M235i intake. So we're gonna be installing this bad boy into um, the BMW today. And I did some before um, I put the uh, intake in shots so you can see how it sounds and then I took some video I'm going to take some video after it's installed to see how it sounds so you guys can hear the difference and um, You know compare for yourselves what, what, what you what you think is uh, better You know I paid around two hundred and thirty dollars for this exhaust, you know on the cheaper end for the um, exhaust intake All right guys without further ado Let's get into this and take the stock intake off and put the new one on All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the mass airflow sensor. So you want to lift the clip up and it'll slide right off. laughing at all right guys it's not pointing at the thing yeah it is what do you mean yeah there you go all right guys so we just all right guys so now we're going to undo the air box with these four clips one two three and then there's a fourth one behind there All right, and then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna lift this up right out of here and it'll slide right off. And then you're going to loosen this right here and, it, and pull the um, stock intake right out. Just like that. So now what we're gonna do is take the stock air filter out if there's anything in there, you're gonna to wanna to clean it out. So I'm gonna take a vacuum and start cleaning that out. Uh, take the mass airflow sensor off the um, stock intake and we're gonna transfer it to the um, new intake that we have, the Burger uh, Motorsports intake. And um, we're gonna do that in a second, but first we're gonna vacuum all this stuff out. All right guys, now we're gonna vacuum out the stuff in the whole uh, intake box. All right guys, so it's almost done with the vacuuming part. We're just gonna use this um, tip now to get all those fine little um, debris out that we couldn't get with the other tip. All right guys, so you're gonna put the two new screws in and then you're gonna start to tighten the new mass airflow sensor into the housing.
All right, guys. Now we we just put this in, which is basically the attachment where it, it attaches to the air box to hold it in. So we screwed it in right here, and then you twist it and tighten it, and then it'll sit right there. Um, and so now we're gonna put it. Um, we're gonna attach the filter and attach it back to the car. All right guys, so we just got the filter. Now we're just gonna stick it on here. Just make sure it's on all the way. And then we're going to tighten this clip right here to fasten it on. Now we're just gonna reconnect it as so. All right guys, so we're gonna put this in right here, clip it in. Okay, and then we're going to, put the light over here, Jake. We're going to clip this in right here. And then, we're, and then that's all st sturdy. And then all we have to do is reconnect the mass airflow sensor. And we are going to tighten the connection over here. So it's all tight and ready to go. And then we're good to go. Here. All right, so now we're just gonna tighten this up. And now we just have to connect the mass airflow sensor. All right, now we are going to connect the mass airflow sensor, which is right here. Once you hear it click in, then you know you're up good. And um, so it's all finished up. We're all right guys, we're all ready to start the car. Um, everything is in place and ready to go connected the mass airflow sensor. Um, I relocated the tune, uh, just connected it to another uh, sensor down over here, you know, away from the heat. Uh, so that's fine, that's taken care of. So we're gonna turn it on for the first time and see how it sounds. some revs and uh, see how it sounds. Don't check engine light so far um, or anything that should uh, be a concern.
Alright guys, now we're going to do some exhaust clips and see if it sounds any louder than before. Alright guys, I think it definitely got a bit louder. Let me know what you guys think. We'll do a little second gear pull on that 20, just under 2500 RPMs. turbo a lot better now and it does feel like it is a little bit faster it's definitely gonna add on to the horsepower increase when I finish all my other mods second gear pull guys so overall I'm uh, pretty happy about this intake you know I can uh, you know first of all I can hear hear it a lot better you know that the turbo spool up a lot better than before and uh, I noticed a little power increase um, so I think it's about you know five to ten horsepower whatever it is but definitely the throttle feels more responsive and uh, I feel like it has a little bit more power the torque has definitely gone up as well you know, even just the little, littlest amount of uh, acceleration, and this starts going, starting to become into a fast car. Uh, stay tuned for the future updates, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.